Are you worried about a sell-off? A, a, a really big sell-off after the rally we've had. Um, I'm not too concerned just because there's so much cash on the sideline, Stuart, which was remarkable last week. You had a lot of fear. You know, a couple of Fed officials talking more hawkish than dovish. We saw a little bit of a sell-off. And you saw literally going to money market funds, $70 billion. We're up to $6.1 trillion in money market funds. That's a lot of money. Now, a lot of people were seduced into that 5% interest rate that you can get on a money market fund. Um, so I can see why people put their money there. But the reality of it is that's still a lot of investors that have missed this huge move up in the stock market. And I'd argue that's why you haven't seen a lot of big dips, coupled with the fact that the economic data has been actually phenomenal. Yeah, it has. Yeah. It has. You've been right on this. Thank you, Stuart. You've said for a long time <laughs> your money belongs in the stock market. Buy the dip. I don't think you ever said buy the dips. You just said consistently put your money into stocks. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, and you're so not saying at this moment, take some out. I'm not because, again, there's just too many investors out there that have missed this move. And if we think that the economy is going to continue to be strong, I think it is. Those unemployment numbers were pretty convincing on Friday. 300,000 new yep. jobs. Huge. Um, inflation's moderating, maybe a little bit stubborn here. But people have money. Their actual wages are starting to grow over inflation, which wasn't the case for like two years. But since last year, you're starting to see that, that change where inflation is actually less what people make, that's a huge catalyst for the future. Well, do you care if the Federal Reserve does not lower rates at all this year? I'm actually in the camp that they shouldn't do it at all because we have a pretty hot financial market right now, right? I mean, the reason Bitcoin's at 70,000 is probably not healthy. That means there's a lot of speculation out there. We know home prices are close to all-time highs. Stock market's at an all-time record high. My biggest fear here is the Fed's going to cut too much this year. I think it's, you know, look, it's an election year. There's a lot of pressure from the real estate industry. Those lobbyists are really knocking on Washington's door to cut rates. If they do that, uh, that could just add like a lot of gasoline to a fire that's already but, burning. But you ain't selling. I ain't selling because I think momentum's up, economic data's up, market's got a lot of money to come, you know, come back in. Kudos to you. You were right all along, Stuart. I hope I you're right in the that. future. Me too. <laughs> See you later.